How you doing guys? I'm Sean. Welcome to Rambles with my camera. Okay, today's Ramble. Um, bit of exciting news. More exciting for me than it is for you, but um, I just think it's fantastic. A good friend of mine from years ago contacted me. It's just photography related. Uh, a guy called Michael Schwartz, a photographer from New York, from the Bronx in New York. And he contacted me via Facebook, my Facebook page, um, a couple of days ago there. And I can't tell you how magical it is to uh, be in contact with him again. I know I haven't got a personal Facebook page to use. I stopped that about nearly two years ago. Um, but I have the, the Facebook page itself, not a personal page, but a Facebook page for um, for this here photography. And Michael contacted me through that. And I haven't seen Michael probably since 1997. And we've been friends from 1987. So we go back a long way. And I think that uh, I just started photography then, whenever I met Michael. He was on the Falls Road in West Belfast. That's in Northern Ireland, if you're not familiar with it. And there was a rat going on. And uh, they were hijacking. And that was quite common uh, on the Falls at that time. And so I was quite aware of what, what to do and what not to do. Because, see, you could have easily got pulled. Like, you know, people with woolly faces, let's put it that way, the balaclavas would have... Uh, you know, they, they would have had you digging ahead, like if you had a stepped out of line. But you were there to record things. But I was only into photography about a year. And I seen this photographer, Michael, of course, taking photographs. And uh, we got talking. And basically from that, I think it was in August of uh, 87. And every single year after that, he kept coming back. To where the friendship, of course, built up. So he contacted me again and like we walked about the falls, all parts of West Belfast together. And it was just great for me to be with such an experienced photographer. And I'm going to put links down below for Michael's website. He's got a website and all up now and he's sharing some of his photographs from Belfast. And also um, his photography. He was a press, is a press photographer in New York and America. He's got photographs up there of 9-11 and Princess Diana and Mother Teresa and you know, crime scenes and things like that. A wonderful photographer, but he's a great friend and he contacted me there. And it was just like, give me a million pounds because as you know, I'm getting back into photography again and making steps towards, you know, really and truly embracing photography and getting back into it, you know, full time and, and actually doing photography. Again, I'm in the process of moving to England and uh, currently where I'm living now in Waterford. I'm just researching more, getting used to the camera, Nikon 3300 reading up more about uh, the laws that I am I'm a photographer not a terrorist everything's changed now and uh, I'm trying to read up on different things and just educate myself and learn I'm starting again okay I may not be starting you know as if I've never had a camera in my hand before but I'm embarking on to new photography and new journey and I think it's I think it's stranger um, the fact that it's, it's strange as fiction I was going to say I think it's very strange that Michael has came back into my life when I'm starting my journey again. And uh, it's just been fantastic, you know, to hear from him. So I'm buzzing here at the moment because I do believe when you put it out there, what you know, think about, you bring about, it actually manifests into your life. And because I want to be a photographer again, you know, I'm starting to going to be presented with things from my past, some good, some bad. Michael's one of the good things about my photography in the past that I really like. But it's got me reflecting off the old days when I was at it, you know, why did it not go a certain way? Why did it go a different way? And uh, that's life, you know, and I'm, I'm buzzing that I've got so much experience at photography, but I might as well say, like, I'm, I'm a learner again, because everything has changed. Technology certainly changed. Um, somebody having a photographic eye, the eye to see an image or create an image, I don't think that doesn't matter about what camera you're using. It starts off inside the mind. But I'm buzzing about this here, and I just think it's, uh, I just can't tell you how happy I am to have this guy back in my life again. And uh, I believe it's a sign from spirit, from, you know, God, Wakan Tonka, the great mystery, whatever you want to call it, Allah, Buddha, whoever you believe in or don't believe in. I believe in it's uh, Michael showing himself at this moment in time. It took me years, I tried to research him, trying to get in contact with him. Uh, so many Michael Schwartz photographers, even in New York, and... Uh, I couldn't get in contact with him, but it wasn't the right time because if I had contacted him, I'd been looking for him for possibly 10 years, 12 years maybe. And uh, I never got never got to meet him, never got to hook up with him again because all my details of Michael's was left in Belfast when I walked away from my old life. 
And uh, but then again, I wasn't doing the photography, so I don't think it was the right time uh, for us two to hook up again. And I'm buzzing, and I don't think Michael's been back to Ireland in a few years. Not too sure what his plans are. We've only exchanged a few messages on Facebook and a, and an email. So this is started a journey. Watch this space, as I say. And if you have anybody in your life now, another good friend of mine, Stephen Mung, photographer, filmmaker from up in Belfast, has always been consistently in my life. But if you have a friend or you know, who inspires you or empowers you or actually, you know, just feels good with, especially taking photographs or any sort of art or doing anything, hold on to them because, you say, without friends in your life, like Janet, good friends I'm talking about, um, you've really got nothing. And that's what I'm saying to you now, that if you've got any old photography buddies you haven't hooked up with in a few years, get on that Facebook. I'm a bit of a dinosaur, I'm not really into it. But get on that Facebook and start searching and you'll be surprised. Uh, you might find them. And they could be sitting there thinking about you too. Michael said he's been searching for me for years too. And he's surprised how many photographers is Sean Allen. And he's right because that's why my Facebook page is Sean Patrick. Unless my name's Sean Patrick. But I go by Sean. And I have had to change it to Sean Patrick Allen because there's a photographer called Sean Allen. And uh, I think he's Canada or somewhere. Like There's a couple of photographers. But there you go. That's just a bit of a ramble. And uh, Michael, I don't know if you're watching this or not, brother, but I can't tell you um, how happy I am to have you back on the, the scene again, man. And hopefully we'll be focused that we'll get back out on that road again, bring some walking boots. We've both got a bit older, brother, and the gear has changed. I see you're shooting digital as well now. No, uh, I think Michael used to shoot uh, the Nikon, I think it's F3. And... Uh, some cracker lenses, but some great photographs. There you go, guys. Listen, send you love from Ireland. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe and come with me in this ramble. I'm trying to get back into this trying to. I'm getting back into photography again, and I'm going to take slow steps. I've got a lot to learn, and uh, I want to share with you this journey. So if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. You can check me out on Twitter and on Facebook, and check out my website, rambleswithmycamera.com for weekly blogs and bits and bobs. Guys, send you love from Ireland and uh, happy days. <laughs>